Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. We gather together this morning to celebrate the Holy Mass. We offer this Mass for those for whom we have been asked to pray for, and also for our own individual intentions. Dear people of God, for us to participate worthily in this sacrifice of the Holy Mass, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. An informant came to David with the report, the children of Israel have transferred their loyalty to Absalom. At this, David said to all his servants who were with him in Jerusalem, up, let us take flight, or none of us will escape from Absalom. Leave quickly, lest we hurry and lest he hurry and overtake us. Then visit disaster upon us and put the city to the sword. As David went up the Mount of Olives, he wept without ceasing. His head was covered and he was walking barefoot. All those who were with him also had their heads covered and were weeping as they went. As David was approaching Berhurim, a man named Shimei, the son of Jera, of the same clan as Saul's family, was coming out of the place, cursing as he came. He threw stones at David, and all the king's officers, even though all the soldiers, including the royal guard, were on David's right and on his left. Shimei was saying as he cursed, Away, away, you murderous and wicked man. The Lord has requited you for all the bloodshed in the family of Saul, in whose stead you became king. And the Lord has given over the kingdom to your son Absalom. And now you suffer ruin because you are a murderer. Abishai, son of Zariah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over, please, and lop off his head. But the king replied, What business is it of mine or of yours, son of Zariah, what he curses? Suppose the Lord has told him to curse David. Who then will dare to say, why are you doing this? Then the king said to Abishai and to all his servants, if my own son who came forth from my loins is seeking my life, how much more might this Benjaminite do so? Let him alone and let him curse for the Lord has told him to. 
Perhaps the Lord will look upon my affliction and make it up to me with benefits for the curses he is uttering this day. David and his men continued on the road while Shimei kept the rest of them on the hillside, all the while cursing and throwing stones and dirt as he went. The word of the Lord. Thanks. The responsorial psalm, Lord, rise up and save me. Lord, rise up and save me. O Lord, how many are my adversaries? Many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no salvation for him in God. Lord, rise up and save me. But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory, you lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. Lord, rise up and save me. When I lie down in sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the myriads of people arrayed against me on every side. Lord, Rise up and save me. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Gerasenes. When he got out of the boat, at once he saw a man, a man from the tombs who had unclean spirits met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains. But the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from that territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with Jesus, Send us into the swine. Let us enter them. And he let them, and the unclean spirit came out and entered the swine. The herd of about 2,000 rushed down a steep bank into the sea where they were drowned. The swine heads ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there, clothed, and in his right mind, and they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their districts. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with Jesus, but Jesus would not permit him 
but told him instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went up and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. It's interesting from the gospel reading today that we hear how the man was bound not just with chains, but also by, with shackles. Just like this man, sometimes in life, we are bound by different shackles. Sometimes it could be physical, sometimes it could be spiritual. David, in the first reading of today, had a physical shackle. He had to contend with his own son who sought his throne. So these are hindrances to us living our life to the fullest, living our life the way God has designed it for us. So as long as this man was under the physical hindrance and spiritual hindrance, He could not live out God's mandate of going out to spread the good news to everybody. The change in our life could be physical. It could be our relationships. It could be our secret sins. It could be self-imposed limitations. It could be the thoughts in our minds. It could be man-made, the choices we've made in the past the life we've lived in the past. It could also be spiritual. But it's important that unless we are set free from these shackles and chains and limitations in our lives, we will not be able to live our life to the fullest. We will not be able to live out God's mandate for us. And so it is important that we bring our chains, the limitations in our lives, Bring them to Jesus like this man did today and let him set you free from them. So whatever it is that is holding you back, bring it to Jesus, bring it to the light, and he will set us free. The prayers of the faithful. We gather together on this day. We bring our petitions to God and we ask him to set us free from the yokes in our lives. For the church, may she continue to grow in holiness and generosity through the mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. For world leaders, May God always guide them in forming virtue and leading with gracious authority. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with addiction of any sort, may the Lord free them from all unhealthy desires and bonds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, May the Holy Spirit empower us in bringing love and truth to our world with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died in the hope of Christ, may they enjoy eternal comfort and joy with the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit 
to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they may receive the help they need, we pray. Let us pray. God our Father, set us free from the yokes, the burdens, and the tribulations in our lives so that we may be dedicated fully to you. We ask God this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just a duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him to Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with the will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase to Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Praise be to God. Sacrament, most holy.